Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video we are going to look at how to use the formula text function in Excel 2013. Yes, this function was released in Excel 2013, so you will not find it in versions prior to that, but you will from there on after. And in this video we're going to look at what it's all about really. So what we have is in cells A2, A3 and A4, if I maybe zoom in on them cells for a moment, we have some formulas. Quite simply, three different formulas, which if I click on the cell, I can view above. What we're going to do in cell B2 is I'm going to write this formula text function. Now as it tells me here during writing, its job is to return a formula as a string. So if I continue that on, so I've got formula text opening bracket. I press the tab key just there to, to finish that off. It will prompt you for the reference. And in this case, it's cell A2. I want to run the formula text function on cell A2. And if I close bracket and enter, what the formula text function does is it displays that formula as a string. So it literally shows you know, character for character, exactly what that formula uh, is doing. And if I click on that cell and copy it down, it will do the same for the other two as well. The second one being quite a large, a large formula is actually going off my screen there, and and the third one a rather more simple sum function. So the job of the formula text function is to display the formula as a string. So you might be thinking, why would I want to do that? I can always click on a cell and I can read the formula above. Uh, you may know that on the formulas tab, uh, there is a button to show formulas on screen. Uh, so yes, I guess you have a point. <laughs> I've heard that question many times. I asked it myself. And I guess where it can come in handy is when you are auditing formulas. The benefit that we can use the formula text function, but because it returns it as a string, we can use that within other functions. You know, whether that be the if function, you know, it would be something like left, mid and right, or it would be find, uh, it would be vlookup, you know, match, anything that maybe we can help us solve errors or, or explain things maybe to somebody we're teaching. Anything that will help us out here rather than just a standard, like this is what the formula looks like. We can combine it with other functions that we know to, to maybe interrogate and help us solve problems and, and audit formulas. I guess that's going to be its, its best strength. Now, if I uh, just maybe delete that for the moment, because that second formula especially is uh, is crazy large. <laughs> and in the next column, I wanted to demonstrate one other thing, like an example of using that with other functions. And I just maybe wanted to know how many characters in the formula. So in cell C2, uh, I can put in my formula text function maybe in there. Could have carried on from the previous example really, I guess. But in addition to that, outside of that, so before it, I'm going to use the len function. A function that returns a number of characters in a string. So typically I would use it on a cell to find how many characters in, in that cell, like in that, in that person's name or something. A really useful function, part of Excel's text functions. But as a demonstration here, I could combine it with formula text. And then what that would do is tell me how many characters in the formula, not in the characters of the cell. So there's clearly not 37 characters there, but there is in the formula. And there's going to be an awful lot in the second one. And there's going to be uh, not so many in the last. So it's just an example of using formula text with another function to maybe help with your auditing or or whatever the, the scenario may be. And that is how we can use the formula text function at from Excel 2013. Please check out some of our other tips and videos on our YouTube channel or at computergaga.com.